today I'm going to talk to you about um, this stuff here, um, methyl cellulose, which is essentially an organic material that is added to silver clay and I think other base metal clays to give it that, um, you know, clay consistency. So this is in effect the binder that they use. Now, other brands might have other things that they add to it, I'm not entirely sure. But um, one of the things um, I have been getting from my, my students is that when they're reconstituting their clay, it's going cre uh, crumbly and it's not holding together very well. So uh, this might um, help you if you are, that's ha what's happening to you. So I got this from Amazon. Um, it's, it was really quite inexpensive, less than 10 pence for this tub. There's lots in it, um, quite enough for this um, ex this job. It looks like this, as you can see, so it's a fine powder. It doesn't smell of anything. Um, and it, this is food grade, so it can be used in, the, in food. So I'm just gonna take half a teaspoon, which is 2.5 ml um, of powder. And I'm going to pop it in this bowl here. And then I'm going to add um, 75 ml, uh, sorry, 50 millilitres of water to the, the powder. And it's warm water. Uh, and I'm going to just stir it. And the thing is that it gets lumpy and it gets a little bit weird looking. And that's okay because what will happen is eventually that the uh, methyl cellulose will be absorbed into the water or the, the, the methyl cellulose will absorb the water, one or the other, and it will come out um, completely clear. So this is the um, mixture. I have left this actually overnight to soak in. I came back after a couple of hours and there were some white bits in there, which I then kind of flattened against the side with my spoon and left it to um, soak in some more. I think you don't even need to do that. You'll just basically, if you leave it for um, probably 24 hours, you'll find that the gel um, comes to this point naturally anyway. So this is um, the gel I'm going to be using for the um, reconstitution. And I will put the rest of this in, oh, I'll just put this in my box and it's, I can keep it for later as well. So I'll be able to use it to reconstitute clay and when I need some more, I'll make it up. So this is 100 grams of fine silver uh, powder, which I have passed through a sieve before I make my um, clay. That's how I always reconstitute. I always pass through a sieve. So I'm going to take some of the cellulose gel that I um, made up and I'm going to, first of all, put in half a teaspoon. I'm just going to take that out of here quite carefully because actually um, it's, it's well worth measuring this um, because you can add too much of it and it will um, make your make the this concoction really sticky and difficult to um, bring together. So it is worth sort of ladling it out. So I'm just going to just make sure all of this is in. And it's a, it takes a, a surprisingly small amount of um, cellulose to, to bind all this together. So instead of using water, I'm using this gel only. Um, and this is what I would normally do with um, reconstituted clay. I would add water and I would just start to mix it in together and then start to kind of press it together as well um, so that we've got kind of adhesion for our um, clay. Now, if, you're, you, if you've got a smaller amount of clay, then I, I would certainly suggest that you go in with small amounts first um, because as I say, if you add too much gel to this um, at this stage, it will make it. You'll have you'll you'll it'll get really sticky, and you'll have to add more powder to the concoction to make it um, 
less sticky so if you don't have any extra um, scrap clay then that might be a mess you for you you're going to have to let it dry out and then start again um, so as I say small and often um, this because this is a say is a hundred grams of um, of silver clay powder now when I did it the very first time I, I kind of um, experimented with cellulose I did 25 grams and um, half a teaspoon <laughs> and that made it an absolute mess so I had to um, grind up some more powder fortunately I had more spare clay um, but that's all I'm saying is just be careful because you'll see what I mean because this is only as I say one half of a te teaspoon and we've got kind of good clumping at the moment. And when I add that second half teaspoon, you're going to see it really come together. And it's great that you can use, you can store your leftover um, gel and put it in a, a box for use for the next time. So you're not wasting anything. I really like that. I've reconstituted quite a lot of clay this way and I've, I've used, I've kept the gel um, in a, an airtight pot. I'm just checking just to make sure. An airtight pot so it, it does keep and you don't have to throw it away. Right. So this second lot will really bring this, start to bring this together. And we've got to work it through um, and be very and firm. And start to bring it through and pretty soon once it's when it's starting to clump I have to watch that when it start starts to clump then um, I start to, I'll bring it together with my fingers and my hands just to start to um, make it into one cohesive mound of clay or ball of clay But I just want to show you how very little you need. And as you see, we've got um, the clay that's is essentially adhering to each other. It's pretty much ready for the next stage of the, re the reconstitution process, um, which I'll show you in a minute. But be patient, take your time with this. Don't rush it, don't think it's not coming together and then add more because you'll regret it. <laughs> so, so I'm just going to start to gather this up in my hands. I use my, I use clay to what kind of wipe the bowl. I do get it on my fingers, but there's, there's no real avoiding that. Even if I was just to add water, um, I'm just going to pick up all the extra little bits that are hanging around this bowl which is just a bolty bowl for anybody who's, anybody who's wondering. And so we've got a ball of clay that's hanging together now, really quite easily. She says with lumps falling off, but it is. So the next stage for me is to start rolling this out and adding some water to it. But as I say, you know, that's one half of a teaspoon of cellulose and it's already nicely balled. So I'm going to get a set up for the next little bit and then I'll come back and show you that. So I've got a lump of clay on a plastic wallet. This is a document wallet that I've had for years and this is all I use it for. But you can close it over the clay and um, I've added a generous amount of cool slip. You can use olive oil if you don't have cool slip. But make sure it's generous because you're going to be rolling out this clay really thinly and you don't want it to stick to anything. So close the wallet and then I roll out. So I just start to spread out over. And as flat as I can get it. And I like this big roller because it, it, it basically covers. The clay. So 
So we're rolling it out as flat as we can get it. And then, oh, this is why you need to make sure you've got a, a generous amount of cool slippers or similar on here, release agent, because you don't want it sticking when you're opening it up. So it's um, flat, nice and flat. I'm going to take just a spray bottle of water and spray it on the top of the surface of the clay and then rub in to the clay surface. Now the fact that, that that's gone in really quite easily and um, it's not really left any residue of water on top, that means that um, the clay is quite thirsty which is to be expected because it's been reconstituted. So I'm um, just going to take it back, squish it up into a ball. Take all the little scraps as well, don't want to miss anything. And then repeat. And you have to do this several times because you want to make sure that the surface of the clay is looking nice and smooth. Um, it's never going to look the same as clay that's um, brand new. It's never going to look as smooth as that. Um, when I'm using reconstituted clay, I, I use it for textured pieces. Um, I don't tend, I won't use it for anything that I need a high shine on, or I try. I tend not to use it for rings as well, because it does. Um, it does. The, the sort of inner strength of the clay is compromised a little bit by being reconstituted, or that's at least what I've taught. I've been taught, and I. I um, I don't tend to make rings that I sell for um, with reconstituted clay. Although I will make a ring if I want to practice a technique. So again, some more, some more water. Again, it's going in really easily. I just want to make sure it's nice and absorbed. And roll up and I think it's going to need another one and after that I think that's that'll be enough you'll be able to feel it in your hands as well how soft it is and how malleable it is um, so that's that's another good good test if you're you're familiar with clay and how it should feel you should start to see that it's coming together really nicely looking really smooth and, and homogeneous and I'm going to just do this one more time and roll it out. And we want to let the, the, the cellulose and the water that we've added to this powdered clay sort of work its way in to the clay. So I tend to, after this is done um, and I've finished working with it and reconstituting it back to um, clay, I like to let that and um, sit for certainly overnight but I would you know give it 24 hours so you if you if you've got plans for this clay then you'll need to make it in advance and plan a wee bit but um yeah it's going to need some time to rest and, and get into a state where it's easily um, used all right so it's still going in and um, quite easily. I'm just going to pick it up. If you've got to the point where the water's kind of sitting on top and it's not being absorbed into the clay, then um, you might need to, uh, well, that's definitely a, a sign to break and stop what you're doing and wrap it up. All right, so we've got this clay. Um, I'm going to wrap it in some cling film, which is um, plastic food wrap. And then I'm going to put it in an airtight pot with um, a baby wipe or some damp um, kitchen roll. I'm just going to let that uh, sit for 24 hours before I, I, I use it. So that's that. Um, if I take this away... 
I'm bring a scale in to show you. So zero grams. So that's 105. So I started off with 100, um, 100 grams of clay and I've got five grams of, of cellulose and water in there to bring that together. Thank you.